This video was sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is my go-to for anonymity and web security. They have RAM-only servers, which means that if anything were to happen where those servers got raided, all your data is lost when they try to pull it. On top of that, you are no longer region locked with Surfshark. And what does that mean? Well, typically Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus only gives you access to shows and movies that are in your country. You ever get a notice that says this video is not available in your country? Well, that's because you're region locked. With Surfshark, you're just a click away of having your server ping you to another location all the way across the world, whether it be Japan, England, or wherever. And that means you've got access to a whole bunch of different libraries for your favorite streaming services. Not to mention total anonymity online and peace of mind. There's even email alerts available to know if anything has been, well, threatened. And the best part right now is I got a sweet coupon for you. If you enter promo code PLAGUED at checkout at surfshark.deal slash plagued, you're going to get 83% off and three months free. That's less than $3 a month for possibly the best VPN service available in the market right now. That's right, 83% off and three months free. Just use code PLAGUED at surfshark.deal slash plagued and get yourself hooked up with Surfshark. Get anonymous, stay safe, and have fun. The following contains graphic content not suitable for viewers under the age of 18. This is a documentary piece made to educate and raise awareness of child abuse, child exploitation, and other horrors of this world and other important matters. My associates and myself do not condone, glorify, or support the topics being discussed in this video, but viewer discretion is advised. YLYM, Dark Forest, is the name of what I consider the worst animal gore video ever recorded. It contains some of the most sadistic acts imaginable, inflicted upon a dog. And it began making its rounds in trade circles on the dark web between 2010 and 2012. It was first posted to a forum there, known as Animal's Nightmare, a sadistic and truly depraved sight organized much like a child exploitation site, catering to the violent sexual abuse of animals. A site that, at one point, had up to 10,000 users registered to it. It was neatly organized by the varying degrees of violence desired to be inflicted upon animals. Those categories and their descriptions go as follows. Soft. Share pics and vids of soft stuff. Rape anal, mixed species, hard, share pics and vids of hard stuff, let them cry in pain, ultra hard, share pics and vids of ultra hard stuff, let them bleed and suffer, and snuff, share pics and vids with snuff, fuck to death, crush, slaughtering, etc. YLYM was uploaded to the site under snuff and it was downloaded over 1,000 times before the site went down suddenly in 2012. However, the site resurfaced as Backyard Shed, Cruel Barn, and its most infamous incarnation as of yet, Animal's Dark Paradise. It is also believed that another infamous site known as Rough Zoo may have been hosted by the same group. While not a direct group, this was an internet gathering of the most sadistic animal abusers, known for making the most infamous titled Animal Snuff to be leaked onto the clear web. This includes videos like Koki, Gushy, Easy to Open, and Old Number 7. 
That other video, easy to open, sees a man take a knife to literally cut open a puppy and have sex with the wound until it dies, as if he's slipping on a condom. These videos were all posted to Animal's Nightmare, and the rebranded sites often labeled under the category, Classics. These videos were rarely leaked until recently as well, but they're actually quite old. But a few notable times, some of them have popped up on the now defunct 8chan board called Zoo Snuff, namely hole number 7, where a dog is tortured for nearly an hour with items including a blowtorch and pliers. The group that made YLYM watermarked the video, proud of what they had accomplished. The watermark reads, the dark forest. Doing some digging, it would seem people have also come to the same conclusion that I have, that the group actually titled themselves Dark Forest, meaning the video title is actually just YLYM. So not the biggest discovery, but still I find it relevant. But it begs a simple question. What does YLYM mean? A bit of food for thought on the level of depravity of these sadistic monsters. I am a man who wonders on the minuscule details, so the acronym has bothered me, but recently I came up with a theory I wish I hadn't. Anyone ever watch those old You Laugh, You Lose compilations? Oftentimes the acronym YLYL was tied into those videos, and given the sexual sadist nature of these people, one could assume that the title is You Laugh, You Masturbate. A testament to exactly the kind of disgusting individual that would do this to an animal in the first place. So, what is YLYM? I am about to describe the contents of the video. If you wish to skip ahead to the face commentary, you'll find the timestamp in the description. But while you're there, please be sure to check out the other links you find. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Connect with me there, connect with me on Patreon and join the Discord today. Come see my other videos that aren't allowed on YouTube, as well as my docu-series, The Infamous Four. Anyways, let's dive into this piece of shit. The video runs at a length of 19 minutes. It starts with the stills of a black dog with some vintage film filters layered over the screen. The dog is bound, and its mouth duct taped shut. A man kneels down near the dog and begins to break each of its fingers with pliers. Then he breaks its front and hind legs and begins to twist them violently. He then grabs an industrial stapler and staples the dog's eyes shut and its ears to its skull. He then proceeds to prop the dog on its hind legs and sodomize it with his hand as it screams and whimpers. Grunting like an animal, he does the same thing again, but with a sex toy. Then again, with even more force to the female dog's genitals, with a wooden rod. After minutes of sexually mutilating the animal, the dog goes limp. Alive, but begins to become unresponsive. This man begins to repeatedly staple the dog's skull to elicit a response. And once the dog finally does respond, he staples its genitals repeatedly until he is, I guess, satisfied. He then props the wooden rod into the ground with the sharp end up like a pike. Lifting the dog up, he slams it onto the rod, straight through the dog's rectum, and bounces it a bit before letting gravity do the rest of its job, of slowly impaling the dog from its rectum then out its mouth. The men leave, then return the following morning. The rod is well out of the dog's mouth. They then disembowel the dog and urinate on its corpse. The video ends with a photo of the dog, propped up on its hind legs, with its severed head at its feet. The entire time, a logo in the bottom right corner reads, The Dark Forest. Bad House has also made a video on YLYM, and cited a conversation between someone and the producer of the video. The prime question being, is all of the sadism against animals just foreplay, working up to a human victim? And almost offended, the man replied with disgusting and brutal honesty that they genuinely love to rape and torture and kill innocent animals. They literally get off on it. This producer is said to play a part in a video I'm actually 
entirely unfamiliar with called Batfuck. YLYM, in many regards, has set a standard of cruelty that is difficult to rival, much like the other infamous titled videos like Old Number 7. While it's deeply upsetting to see animals suffer, even to those seasoned in human gore, animal cruelty is all the more abundant, and for lack of a better term, more creative. This is due to gray areas within the laws on animal abuse and producing animal abuse material. This sort of content isn't handled normally, like outside of a state level, so rarely are prosecutions ever made. However, endeavors to expose these individuals have been made, and a huge leak of Zeus Ada's content saw the arrest of one man in Cuba, as well as various doxing campaigns and a sort of investigation by Kiwi Farms. It is unclear, however, if they have found any real leads to the identity of these men in YLYM. But the group titling themselves, and even watermarking their videos, this implies branding, meaning that YLYM may not be, well, realistically can't be, the only video produced by this group. And what if that Batfuck video? I'm really curious about that. B-A-T-T-F-U-C-K. She provided a screenshot focusing a thread, and on one of these dark web forums asking about it, it read Batfuck A-N. A-N. Animal's Nightmare. So, that was among the worst shit I have ever seen. Um, it is definitely, in, like, I'm going to continue saying this. In my opinion, YLYM is the worst animal abuse video ever recorded. This tops old number seven, and that was over an hour long. I made some mistakes in my video because at that point, I, like I said, I only had screenshots. I, I've seen old number seven since then. I never, haven't sat through it from start to finish, I'll be honest, because an hour of straight up just doggo torture isn't exactly my thing. Um, I decided against a live reaction to YLYM just because of the content of it. Just doing the narration alone like uh like there is a reaction footage i'm not using it i i don't think it's worth it because I, it's not like i can crack a joke for this the sounds are just so disturbing it runs it runs such an extremely high risk of actually being just removed from the channel uh possibly even getting me a strike it's that bad that i don't even think i can push the narrative and do that so i'm going to decide not to but i do have thoughts to share about it and after watching it um, I don't know. This one definitely did not sit well with me. <clears throat> to think that this group is so proud that they're actually branding. Like, you don't put your name, your logos on things without... You know, that's branding. That's marketing. That's what you do. That's what I do. If you don't see Plague Moth on something of mine, you see Moth Media Productions. Because one day, you know, that's going to be, you know, my company. I want to just branch out and do things like that. But this is different. This is really, really twisted. I just don't... I don't get it. On a lighter note, real quick, uh, I already know I gave you one ad read, but this is for me personally. You've got to check out my new merch. I actually have some stuff. I'm going to push the narrative and be an edgy boy and start to piss at your neighbor off or maybe some other Twitter kids or something, somebody on Reddit, someone's going to get sad and mad and cry about this, but it was a funky town shirt. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm getting the funky town shirt. I got a gore horror shirt. I'm actually planning another merch drop closer to Halloween with more spoopy themed stuff. Maybe some skeletons and some, you know, some Endermen maybe. No, no, Endermen. That's some copyrighted shit. And definitely, if you want to see more content and uncensored content as well, come watch some dirty, nasty, terrible stuff with me in the Discord. You can get an instant invite by joining the Patreon. You can get all access to my docuseries, The Infamous Four, on October 11th to celebrate the first year anniversary of my channel. I will be playing the fourth Infamous Four with bonus content uh, live. I'm going to play the first three and then chill with everybody and watch the fourth one on a premiere. And... Yeah, that's when that's ending too. My docu series is ending. I can't believe I've been doing this for a year. It's it's wild. Thank you so much for the support. But definitely, please check out my uh, 
links in the pinned comment as well as the description. I would really appreciate that. Some fun stuff. Come dick off with me on TikTok too. But okay, with that crap out of the way, I mean honestly, other than plugging myself, to be honest with you, it's kind of just trying to gather my thoughts to correctly say this without just blurting out just anger because obviously this angers me this pisses off anybody it's like you know it's like when you see content with kids it's super upsetting it's not cool it's really hard to sit through and i just don't i just can't i can't grasp it it's so it's so sick okay so doing this isn't a plug but this is just something relatable um recently that really just kind of made me pick my own brain i guess at certain things um <clears throat> so doing this final infamous four, it doesn't just talk about Peter Scully and the background and like the contents of days of destruction and all that terrible shit. I've also talked about the psychology of a rapist. I've talked about how predators operate on the dark web and, and I've learned a lot making the video. So it's like, it ties into a sadistic rapist. These people also kind of justify themselves like they're non-contact predators in a way. It's almost comparable, the kind of predatory nature between an animal abuser, like a zoo sadist, versus a, a, a child exploiter, like a hurt core lover. It's, it's, <clears throat> I don't know if I can even say equally disgusting, but you get where my heart is when I try to express that. It, it is just, it's, it's terrible. It almost leaves me at a loss of words because it's like after watching that, it was just so bad. It's so bad that it's almost unreal. Like if you told me that existed, I probably would not believe you. I would not believe you if, if I did not see that with my own eyes. It, it goes to such lengths of, again, like I said in the script, dare I say creativity because... I guess it's because it's it's the same thing as a snuff film. That's why there is sections on some of these uh, be, like beast sites or zoo sites, whatever the fuck, called like you know zoo snuff because you can. There's people even taking requests like, oh, how should I kill these chickens? That's fucking horrible. And of course, the law is very gray on it. There's not a lot people are gonna do. The feds aren't gonna spend the money to pursue crimes like that necessarily because it's not people and. I have made an argument before that, like, you know, people value their pets over other people, and it's pretty stupid, and I agree, but it doesn't mean you should sadistically torture an animal in such a, especially in, like, there's never an excuse. What I'm saying is the extreme of this is just, it's absurd. It almost makes no goddamn sense. Like, it's so sadistic, and the fact that the, this dude is getting off grunting like an animal as he is torturing this, this dog, and God... But almost goes to justify, it, assuming that conversation was true, um, that was referenced, like, oh, we would never do this to a person, you know, that kind of ideology is, you know, fucked up, you're all messed up, like, what the fuck, but you're, you, li like, there's literally people putting on a chihuahua as, like, a condom and killing it that way, like, that's shit that, like, that's shit that, like, Cannibal Corpse would write, like, that's some insane, like, top ten craziest anime deaths or like hentai death shit you can't make that shit up like i mean i guess you can but i'm trying to find for the lack of a better expression like i just holy shit <laughs> it's deplorable now kiwi farms has made attempts to dox these people these groups um it's really hard to just narrow it down to one group because you know it's, it's like saying i'm part of anonymous well everybody can say i'm part of the dark forest but there has been people mentioned, and I was asked to actually release names, and again, that is actually illegal. I can't dock somebody just because I hate them. That's a hell no. I really, really disagree with certain laws on that, like many people, but you know I have to follow the rules just as much as anybody else for the most part. Do your research if you want to find information on your own. I'm, I do not condone any harassment of anybody, including these psychotic fucks. Um... I can't even confirm if the people that they are supposedly doxing are these people. So that's another risk. Just like Dr. Gloves, they said, oh, it's probably this guy. Well, probably this guy can ruin an innocent person's life. Just like life. I'm sorry. Just like that. Like you don't want. You, it's something nobody should get involved in. And the authorities have been notified of this. So like it's, it's, it's insane. It's like this should not even be a possible thing this should not be this is not cool 
there's other videos like this and the fact that this one is actually old enough being like 2012 i think was mentioned uh that's nine years old now as of 2021 when this video is recorded so think about that for a minute there are certain ones like koki and stuff like that that are uh revered as classics that are even older what else is out there is a really big question here and who the fuck is the dark forest and what other content do they have that is probably worse this is so diabolical and I'm not saying that in a fashion like, oh, let's let's get it. I'm saying, like, can you imagine how terrible it can actually get? It's a speculative thing I always love to poke at because, of course, it's fascinating, but it's also scary at the same time and very unsettling when you think about it because these things only get worse. If you think about it, these are leaks because of, what, almost 10 years? Oh, they were leaked maybe previously, maybe in the past couple. Let's just say three years. If they were leaked within the past three years... That's still six years in the dark, deemed an urban legend. Think about that. That's horrifying. How much happened in between? And nobody talks about it. That's scary. And say what you want to. Uh, they can say what they want in defense of never doing this to another person, but I am a believer in a lot of things can escalate, like feeding a fetish, if you will. You feed a fetish for many people, not everybody, but many people, it will grow said fetish. And it's it, it's kind of weird and oppressive not to do something like that, but it's like teaching habits to yourself. At least that's how I view things, so take it as you will. But you're feeding in such this disgusting, insane habit. Like, this is psychotic. This is literally the definition of, like, fucking mentally ill and the least derogatory way to apply this, I guess, because holy shit, this person needs to be locked up and fucked up, if you will. I kind of wish I did not see that video. To be honest, I, I really am not a fan of animal content or childlike gore. Uh, I can sit through a lot of it, but sometimes it's really bad. Like, it's just, this is not, it makes you think about stuff a lot. It makes you think deep when it's something that cannot fight back that there's no, oh, well, maybe they did this. Like, you can apply anything. Uh, Ghost Rider, that's a really bad gore video, but Ghost Rider himself was a piece of shit. Okay, um, even the cartel chainsaw video, they were criminals too. Who knows what they what they did? We don't know. We can speculate. Funky Town guy, who he crossed a gang. Who knows? He could have been in a different gang and done just as bad shit to somebody else. But with an animal or a child, there you know for a fact, it's like kids do dumb shit. Animals might pee on your furniture or something, but you know they're just trying to love. They love unconditionally. They love the worst of people just because that's what they know how to do. And kids are basically the same. Uh, except they produce, like, slime and well, slobber for dogs. Seriously, though, kids leave, like, a fucking film when they touch things. It's, like, I, I don't know. It's maybe my, like, caterpillar children are, like, slugs. I don't fucking know. That's about as far, like, I can't even try to make a joke about it. I'm, I'm honestly kind of just pissed off. Like, I, I watched it. I did my script. Now I'm doing this, and it's like I'm still in a – no matter which way I do, <laughs> in the order I look at it, I just am more pissed off at the situation and the fact that there is virtually no justice for this. This is just out there, and there's probably worse out there, and the dark forest is most definitely out there. And that's the reality of this, and I guess I should really cut this off. I'm feeling the air just rambling my ass off. But I got some more videos for you planned. I set up a little nice – recording area in the garage here which is much better i'm in a nice chair i can stand if i need to good lighting hopefully this green screen works out well <laughs> but thank you so much for watching please don't click off the video just go ahead and check out those links like i said get yourself some new merch or at least window shop a little bit get me some hits and you know help me out a little bit i'm trying to get into a new vehicle before the holidays not like some crazy off the lot shit but my transmission's going it's no bueno so Got to grind it. You know, get yourself entered in a $1,000 giveaway by getting into the Discord. You can find out how to do that in my description box down below. Or you could just join the Patreon and get an instant invite. Super cool as long as your Patreon is linked to your account. 
I definitely recommend you check out my merch as well. I work really hard on that stuff. I would really like it uh, if you guys can tag me and some stuff on Twitter or wherever. Instagram, which I don't go on too much, but I'll eventually see. Shit, even TikTok. I'm on TikTok now. Uh, I like to reply to people and do video replies daily there. Find me everywhere, guys. But thank you so much for watching. I hope I get to see you on October 11th. Get to watch some stuff live with me. Get to talk. Get to celebrate the first year of my channel. And then on the 19th, it's my birthday. So going to be doing a live stream on Twitch for that. Been kind of slacking on Patreon. But hey, we got a weekly Q&A coming up for that too. So anywhere. Thank you for watching. I'm out.